guys, welcome back to your next virtual chemistry lab. This one is going to be on Half-Life. Now, you guys have done Half-Life uh, labs before, right? I mean, you had, uh, let's say, pennies, and you would flip them, and there's a 50% chance they'll come up heads after each flip, or perhaps you used M&Ms or Skittles. Skittles are more durable. And there it was a 50-50 chance after each flip that you'll come up with the letter on top. In every single case, there's already a 50-50 chance built in with every shake and drop, so each shake and drop would represent one half-life. So let's do something a little bit more complicated. Dice. This is a tiny, tiny die. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So this is an atom of dicium. And dicium is radioactive and turns into onesium, which means you'll know it's decayed when you see a single pip, like so. That's what they're called, pips. Pip, pip, chara, chara. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this sample of 80 atoms of dicium and put them through decay after decay after decay until we have 10 or fewer remaining. Now, because there's a 1 in 6 chance on any roll that this dicium will come up onesium, how many times would we have to roll the dice to be equivalent to one half-life? Well, it should be three rolls. We'll test that hypothesis out. Should take three rolls to get to a one in two chance of it coming out to a head, to a onesium. But we'll see. So if you're doing this lab in the lab, please make sure that you count all of your dicium first to make sure there are 80. And if there aren't, please let me know so that I can adjust you back up to 80 where you will be starting. Now, this is a very, hang on a second, ooh. Testing. This is a very straightforward lab. Essentially, all you're going to do is you're going to record the number of onesiums that have decayed and keep a cumulative running total. So let's say 10 decay the first time and 8 decay the second time, you would write 18 here. So you would write however many have decayed plus however many total have decayed before. This way, the total number of onesiums that have decayed and set aside will increase over time and the number of dicium that are left undecayed that we will continue to roll will decrease over time. Now, since we're starting with 80, we would predict that when we get to 40, that would be one half-life, 20 would be the second half-life, 10 would be the third half-life, and so on. We are not going to go underneath 10 dicium. All right, we're only going to do enough rolls so we get to about 10 dicium or less. So we're not going past three half-lives in this lab. Since it says shake time five seconds, there will be five seconds worth of time between each shake. So I'm going to shake it for five seconds. And then I'm going to dump them out into this bin. Now, let's pull out any onesiums. All right, all the onesiums have been removed. So let's bundle them up in fives. So we have that and we have that left over. That's after our first roll. So take that number and write it down right here after the first shake. Shake, 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 shake your dicium. There it is. Put that number right in that spot. Now, subtract that number from 80 to get the number of dicium that we still have left in the bin. So for the first one, that's 13 onesiums. If we take 13 away from 80, that's 67 dicium remaining in the bin. Now I'm going to keep these 
13 off to the side like so and then go ahead and put these back in and shake them up. Okay, this is our second throw. Let's pull out any onesies. There's no way to predict which individual die will turn into onesium during which particular throw. Okay, here are all the onesiums that I have removed. So go ahead and write that number of onesiums plus the number of onesiums that have already decayed in this spot. So this number here plus the number you had here go in this spot. And then this subtracted from 80 will go here. All right, let's continue on now that you have the pattern. I'm gonna put all the onesiums together and then put them back in and shake them up. Boy, we pulled out a lot that time. Like I said, this is a totally random situation. And so you never know from one half-life to the next exactly what you're going to get. So what did we get out of this half-life? That's what we got. So go ahead and add it and subtract from 80 and we'll do the next half. We'll do the next shake. Okay, so let's count them up. Okay, go ahead and add that to your previous total and subtract from 80. So that you should have in one column all of these that are decayed and these quickly dwindling numbers that are still undecayed. after this shake that is what we got out of it now let's add that to our total subtract from 80 we don't have that many shakes left to go I guess And that's what we've gotten out of this shake. Go ahead and add it to the total and then subtract from 80. Let's go again. Go ahead and add that to your total and subtract from 80. Record it by adding it to the total. Subtract from 80. We still have more than 10, but not by much.
Go ahead and add it to the total. Subtract from 80. Now, it looks like we have 11 left, so we still have to go for one more shake. <laughs> Okay, that's the last shake. So now you have the total number of onesiums that have decayed and the diceum that still remain undecayed after this final shake. Go ahead and complete the rest of the lab.